and uh, when someone press uh, c4 and black plays g4 uh, g6 it is it is it is very common that we are actually fianjatoing fianjatoing this bishop on the nice g7 diagonal and sometimes it can transpose into king's indian and maybe grunfeld and sometimes it can be transposed into Bo uh, bogo indian or nimzo indian but this time it is it is actually a pure uh, pure English opening and it is called the great snake variation because of the following move now after this move I played knight c3 now knight c3 is is very common whenever uh, someone tried to finger during the bishop so he plays the obvious move that g7 yes g7 is is you you, you have to play g7 now g3 <coughs> So I play this. Now I always try to finch at doing this piece upon g2 whenever I play this English opening. And in English opening, this finchering system is good. Sometimes we play like the broad wing triangle, and sometimes we play the classical English opening. Classical English opening actually doesn't recommend to finch at doing this bishop, but finch at doing this bishop is actually ready opening that starts with f3. But this time I actually played this move. Then my opponent plays knight f6. And which is very common. Knight f6, you, you actually have, have to play knight f6. Knight f6. And now, I play the obvious move, g2. Bishop g2. <coughs> At this moment, okay, somebody is sometimes castle. And if you try to play something like the symmetric English opening, then they play pawn to c5. But this time, he actually castle. What? What is happening with my computer? Okay. Back, back, back. Yes. And now he actually castle, which is which is very common. Which is very common. So I played knight f3 and I will castle later and he played d4 and d5 is a move but I don't recommend this d5 move and when I playing against English opening I never play d5 I just cannot play d5 of course I have to play c cross d5 otherwise he will get the center actually so c cross d5 now knight cross d5 and at this moment I made a horrible blunder now <coughs> now the, uh, the, the now the the knight on c3 actually is protected by these two pawn the pawn on b2 and d2 now if i actually undefend the knight by any of the pawn then something bad gonna happen and this actually happened in the game i played this blunder d d3 move which is which is not good i mean no good I mean this move would never play and he took with the wrong thing actually at this moment if you took with the knight actually now let's say he took with the knight so I have to I have to take with the pawn and he will play bishop takes pawn and forking my rook and uh, rook and a king and he will take he will take the rook so I have to play this and then he took actually <coughs> I have to took it otherwise I have nothing to go I mean no hard to go and uh, he at this moment he he might play something he might play something okay, let's see uh, maybe maybe this move maybe of course f6 is a good move and I'm gonna play bishop b2 of course play this move and the line goes on and on so, so that was a blunder by me, but hopefully my opponent actually didn't realize uh, the position and he didn't actually, he didn't, he really didn't understand the position and he actually took with the bishop, which is actually a bad move.
and now knight cross so he took with the bishop i took with the pawn and now he took with this so attacking my queen i have to move and then this is probably one of the juiciest square so he played so he actually defending he actually defending i castle i think yes i castled so now knight f6 now at this moment i don't recommend knight f6 you play knight f6 this knight f6 move is 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 no good at this moment i think this knight c3 or a pawn move is actually good so knight f6 and i play bishop b2 of course this is this is this is the main position i have to play bishop b2 he played knight c6 now of course he have to play knight c6 otherwise i'm gonna play rook c1 and i play this a3 move now a3 move is i don't know whether it is good or bad but i played it because it actually it is actually defending the knight now bishop g4 knight e5 now knight e5 and at this position also i made actually this is a mistake this is a real mistake at this position this is not a good move i mean at this position good move is maybe a4 or something like a knight move to d2 this is a good move but i played the wrong thing knight e5 and at this position computer actually prefers black which is which is no good for me but he didn't realize the position so he should have took the knight with the knight but he didn't do so so he took with the knight but at this moment he actually didn't understand the position and of course i have to take with the bishop and i take with the bishop actually and at this position what happened that he should not take this take this pawn with the bishop but he did at this position you know these three pawns on the seventh rank is no good so he should have moved this kind of pawn but he didn't do so so he took this i don't know why he took this i should have took the bishop but i took the knight first and this is actually a mistake this is a real mistake he can take this this f1 rook but he didn't took it and he really did a mistake here and of course i capitalized this and at this position engine actually prefers white because i'm gonna take his bishop and it is actually game over so now this and the game goes like this simple way okay at first the rook because he's gonna play the rook on the d file so c6 exchanging the queens and i have these three central pawns and the rest of the game is really very simple and of course at this moment if you take this pawn then i'm gonna take with this rook and one rook is not enough and this rook and this pawn actually is a queening pawn he cannot do anything about that and i won the game at this point actually my opponent resigned thank you for watching hope you like the video so enjoy watch and subscribe if you like thank you